hey guys welcome to the channel thank you guys for stopping by so i tried a thing and <laughs> you guys want to stick around with me to see the result so i tried making puff puff without using yeast you guys know that i have never come across a recipe of how to make puff puff without using yeast until recently and i'm like ah that can make it really fast because i'm not going to have to wait for it to rise i'm not going to wait for a long time i'm just going to mix and fry so your girl said that she was going to go into the kitchen today and try to make puff puff without yeast and <laughs> it was the whole situation i created something in fact i made something just keep watching so i just went ahead to put my ingredients together i'm not going to bother telling you guys how much of what i use or should i maybe i'll leave it on the screen because this recipe did not turn out right in it did not turn out right so it was a fail and i'm sharing it um, with you guys as a fail recipe because i actually figured out what i did wrong okay so yeah this is what happened i used let me just go ahead and tell you guys um the quantity of ingredients that i used so that um, you guys can get it when I'm going to do another recipe, which of course is going to be the right one. So I'm just um, going to tell you guys how much ingredients I used. I used five cups of flour. I used um, one and a half teaspoon of salt. I used two teaspoons of baking powder. I used um, some sprinkles of nutmeg, water. I used two and a half cups and then sugar. I use one third cup or 8.5 uh, meals now the problem I believe with this particular puff puff was that my baking powder was not enough and then um, when I started frying it I realized that the butter was so heavy so even as I was mixing I could tell that the butter was so heavy I originally intended to use two cups of water but I ended up using two and a half cups of water okay so um, yeah I kept on mixing and trying to get the butter to feel light I had to add some baking powder but I didn't and so I just want you guys to come along with me and see the result because when I'm going to hack when I'm going to find the trick when I'm going to know how to get this done I will definitely come back here and share with you guys a recipe but it was just so amazing to actually make my puff puff and not have to sit down there and wait for it to rise you guys can see it actually looks like puff puff it is puff puff the only difference i could say was there's a smell that you get um when you mix puff puff and you cover it to rice there's a smell that you get the house just starts feeling puff puffy i didn't get that with um when i made this i don't know if it has to do with the fact that they, there was no yeast i really cannot tell but i'm going to try it again um this is to just let you guys know that when you see um, food content creators sharing recipes with you know that sometimes they have tried those recipes like once twice thrice okay so if you're that person who thinks that you can just come on the internet see a recipe do it and it turns out excellent and you and if it doesn't turn out right the first time you give up then you might just really not get it when it comes to cooking because you have to try you probably make a mistake and then you get it the next time the thing is a lot of the times if you follow a recipe you can follow it like to the t but there's going to be something that you probably do not do well maybe the direction in which you were mixing something there's just going to be something little that you have to try again when you try again then you're going to figure it out like oh this is what i did so you guys can see that the butter is so heavy normally when you're frying puff puff as you drop it in the oil it's supposed to rise i think maybe my water was too little of course i can tell that it's not like my oil is not hot you can see that my oil is hot the oil was even too hot so you can see that it took a little while for my puff puffs to start coming up that's because the butter was really heavy and then i think i need, I, I think there are two things i'm going to do i'm going to add baking powder um and then i'm going to add um a little a little bit of water just to the extent that i can still scoop my butter or i might just go with one thing at a time add a little bit of baking powder and see if it gives me the puff puff feel that i want um and the same texture i mean it's looking like puff puff i could even share this as if a successful recipe but you guys know i'm honest i tell you guys if it goes wrong i tell you guys so it wasn't good you guys i opened the puff puff and the puff puff was not puff puffing <laughs> it was looking yellowish inside it was looking look at how thick it looks you know when you open your puff puff it has to be white like why is it yellow that's something i still could not understand because i didn't put anything that made it to have that it's not really yellow it's looking brownish 
it has one funny color anyways thank you guys for watching this video i hope my honesty would make you go ahead and try some recipes on this channel <laughs> i did a fail video for my accra accra beans and then i came back when i had learned it and i became a pro i did now a proper recipe maybe you should go and check out my acrobins recipe video thank you for watching subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one bye